In this video, we discuss problem decomposition. You've studied this topic already in our video, Thinking Procedurally. So as a recap, problem decomposition is nothing more than the process of taking a large problem and breaking it down into several smaller problems. Depending on the size and complexity of the overall problem, these smaller problems can often be broken down further. You can repeat this process, fully exploring the problem, until each of the lowest level boxes represents a single task or action, which you could then code up as a procedure, module, function or method, for example. It should be noted that not all problems lend themselves to being easily broken down using a top-down hierarchical approach. Typically, event-driven programs, such as those based around graphical user interfaces, can be harder to break down in this way. Even then, we can usually start to separate out the main areas of functionality to break the problem down into a series of smaller ones that are then more manageable to deal with. A good way of tackling problem decomposition is using an approach called stepwise refinement to produce a top-down modular design. We first looked at this back in our video titled Identify the Components of a Solution to a Problem. The aim of problem decomposition is to end up with small independent modules which can then be written by a single person or a small team. These modules can largely be written and tested in isolation before being integrated back into the bigger overall solution. Here's an example of a top-down module design that's been created using stepwise refinement for a typical retro arcade shooter. Notice how the number of boxes increases the further down the diagram we go. This illustrates the problem being broken down into increasingly smaller parts. The yellow box at the top is the name of the overall program. The green boxes underneath the title are the key interface screens the user will see. Below these are the main game objects in blue, followed by the action those objects can take, coloured in orange. As should be noted at this point, there is no right answer to producing diagrams like this. It all depends how you visualise the problem. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What do we mean by problem decomposition? <laughs> 